Welcome to our channel. We are Technic Force and we help grow your business online. Please hit the subscribe button to get more updates. New Perplexity Deep Research Agent. Perplexity have just released Deep Research. Now, this is like an alternative to OpenAI's Deep Research, except it's the biggest difference. Normally, you would pay $200 for Deep Research capabilities inside ChatGPT Pro, but now you get access to it for free inside Perplexity. Bear in mind, ChatGPT's Deep Research limit is $100 per month for operator, whereas if you're in a free plan on Perplexity, you get five queries per day. I'll show you how to get access and how to use this step by step. Let's get started. Here's an example of the benchmarks. So if you pull this up, this is a comparison for QA of Perplexity Deep Research versus OpenAI. And you can see huge difference right there, which is pretty wild. We've got the deep research stats on Perplexity scores. So it scored 21.1% on Humanity's last exam. Outperforming Gemini Thinking, Author Mini, O1, Deep Seeker R1, and other top models. So we'll be testing it out today. So if you want to get started with this, just open up a new thread and then you're going to select deep research from the drop down. So this is what you can use. Okay, let's say, for example, tell me about how will AI influence SEO in 2025? And let's run it. And now you can see it's now beginning to do the deep research. Now it says deep research often takes a few minutes to complete. I'll start by preparing a research plan. Now, bear in mind, if you're using ChatGPT and deep research function in there, it's usually going to take about 10 to 30 minutes per research report. So I'll put exactly the same prompt into ChatGPT versus perplexity and compare the deep research functionalities here. But here, what ChatGPT often does is it will come back to you and say, you can clarify a few aspects. I'm just going to say, give me all of them and it will go off and start doing the research. But here you can see that it's actually going to take a quite long time to get that back. If you come into perplexity, it seems to be a lot faster when we're getting the results. Now, if you click on starting research, there's no feedback from ChatGPT. But if we go back to perplexity, it's already telling us, okay, we've looked at 23 sources. Here's what we're going to do step by step. So it's like thinking out a reasoning model. It's giving us all the sources. And then once it's ready, it's going to tell us exactly what we need to do. So if we have a look at these steps, first of all, I need to search the web to find information on how AI is expected to influence SEO in 2025. The previous search provided a detailed overview of AI's influence on SEO in 2025, highlighting trends like automation of repetitive tests, predictive analytics, and enhancements in voice and visual search, blah, blah, blah. Then it's just going off and do the magic. Now the answer has already come back to us and we've got a pretty detailed report here. That is pretty powerful stuff. Now for sure, this has been triggered by the release from ChatGPT on deep research, but as you can see, you get very similar outputs, except the perplexity seems a lot faster. So ChatGPT is not even, I would say it's probably about 20% of the way through this. So it's going to take quite a while to get that back. Whereas perplexity has already come back to us with the goods. You can also inside here ask to search images, videos, and generate an image as well. And it also gives you follow-up questions right here. Top of that, you can share this with people. So you can share it with your team. We can actually share it with people like they don't need to log in or anything like that. And then we've got the sources. So you can see these numbers here. These are the sources of the research that was used. So it's using, for example, AI's impact on SEO, what to expect in 2025. It's published in January 17. So it's not using like a really old data from what I can see. Let's have a look at this one. And yeah, again, this is a pretty recent blog. And it summarized the key findings and then the evolution of everything. So it seems to be a lot faster. And again, you can do this for free. So you get five free queries per day for non-subscribers. So you don't need to sign up to the premium plan. You don't need to pay for this. And this is a very valid alternative to using ChatGPT Deep Research, which costs you around $200 per month. So again, if you want speedy, fast results, you don't want to wait 30 minutes and open up ChatGPT and then close it and then wait ages, this is probably the best alternative. Now, what I want to test as well is whether we can do multiple different research reports in different tabs. So I'm going to say, for example, given my community AI Prosperity Collective, provide a breakdown of the market landscape and my key competitors. Additionally, Highlight the critical factors I should consider to enhance my offerings in this industry. 
So we've given that to Perplexity to figure out now. And it's researching now the market and competitors. So that's pretty cool. And then if we go inside here, we can say, do a research report on automation agencies. And then let's run it. Now, the thing I like as well is it doesn't ask us for more information. It just goes off and does it. Whereas, for example, ChatGPT makes a little bit more complex because it gives you loads of questions before you can even get the answer. And so I think some people would just be like, I can't be bothered answering all these questions. I'm just going to go off and get the report. So then we've got a report already back from Perplexity on community ideas. Then also it's doing the research on the AI automation. So yes, you can open multiple tabs and then do multiple research reports at the same time, which is great because then you don't have to wait for one report, then do another. Otherwise, you're going to be wasting a lot of time. So let's have a look at some of the key ideas and stats from this report and just really analyze it in detail. So it's got key findings, AI overviews, content quality over quantity that makes sense, fragmented search behavior. These are pretty valid key findings. I would say this is the way AI is going. And then also, this is a pretty good stat as well. Pretty useful stuff right there. Then it's talk about the rise of AI first search engines, for example, like SearchGPT and Google search sharing experience. Everything in here feels better than what you would get normally from a research report. Everything in here is quite to the point as well. There are very valid insights, but it's not too worthy and it's not too long. ChatGPT is still coming back to us. Meanwhile, Perplexity has already done two different research reports. So it's done three research reports essentially in the time that ChatGPT is still doing one. And we'll compare the insights from ChatGPT. Let's have a look in the next one. So it's giving us a market overview and the global AI market is experiencing rapid growth and some ideas on different communities that we're competing with. So for this one, I would definitely say like the SEO report is much more useful than the AI community report. And it's given us some actionable reports. So like industry insights, super useful. This is great, right? The second report that we got back for the community and how to improve the offer, all this stuff is super obvious and not very relevant. So I would say it's very generic. I would report this probably about two out of 10. Let's check the last one. So now we've asked for details on like research report and AI automation. So honestly, the whole headline feels like very AI, if that makes sense. Pretty generic and feels like AI fluff. This is all fluff. This is pretty useful stuff to know. So I'm rating this one, I would say six out of 10, maybe seven out of 10. The conclusion isn't bad. Now let's look at ChatGPT again. And yes, we're still waiting for that. Could waiting all day for that. This could be a long video just for waiting around ChatGPT to generate the research reports. The resources, I would say they're better than your average researcher, but they're probably not going to be like her specialist researcher, if that makes sense. So if you're comparing this versus a PhD researcher, I think you're going to get better results back from a human, but it's still pretty powerful and super useful. Plus, you can ask follow ups and go deeper into the topics that you want. And that's all for today's video. See you in the next one. Before we end this video, I'm extremely thrilled to show you two brand cheat 6 AI, which is the most recent and most advanced version of two brand cheat. This version includes a lot of artificial intelligence all around the app. Automate your YouTube SEO with AI and community intelligence. Get unlimited organic YouTube traffic with rankings that stick forever. Grab the secret tool that has helped build thousands of high traffic YouTube channels. Get more views, subscribers, and build an audience for any channel you choose. Paid ads not needed. Backlinks not needed. SEO and language skills not needed. AI enhanced and AI powered optimization at every single step. Write and rewrite your titles, descriptions, etc. with AI. Discover keywords and hashtag alternatives using AI. One click optimization with AI. The ultimate YouTube research tool for any niche and topic. Tested and approved by YouTube. Use community-driven intelligence and AI both to rank your videos. Optimize and rank videos for any language and region. Perfect for agencies and service providers. Claim your free organic YouTube traffic with the least possible work. No more juggling dozens of complicated and expensive tools. No more burying your head in books trying to figure it all out. No more watching your traffic, sales, and future prospects dry up. Helping thousands of YouTubers rank to the top every day. Before, Tubrank Cheat 5 was available only for Windows, but now Tubrank Cheat works natively on Mac OS. All features are now available on Mac. 
So what are you waiting for? Get to Brachit now. Just go to tubrachit.com. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and ring that notification bell. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.